Good morning. It's a little bit humid today. We're going to be doing the scuba diving out here. And uh, I don't know. I hope it comes out. Oh, I wonder if these, these are dry. Huh. You saved me. <laughs> from a very slow moving bus. <laughs> How are you feeling, Jin Jin? <laughs> Tired. We have to wake up almost, like for me, I have to wake up at five o'clock every day uh, because we leave at 6.30 and then I have to like wear makeup, of course, and then dress up. So I always wear earlier, one hour earlier than everybody else. So I'm so tired. <laughs> you slept, you were sleeping on the bus a little bit though. You, no, did a little, you had a little nap? No, like I was trying to, but it failed. Now I need like at least two cup of two Americano. cups of two Americanos. Yes. Can we get them? No. No. No, but I got. I have my package. I have my. Okay. Yeah. The question is, okay. do we have hot water on the boat? Yeah. They gotta have hot water here somewhere. We could probably get some hot water somewhere. If they don't have hot water. Uh, hot water. Have water. Like, my mind is not working. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If we have a, we don't have the hot water. I just like, I would just eat the powder. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> that sounds bitter. Hey, dude, I got two dives today, and it's raining. It's windy. Yeah, the weather is the weather is not too great. Yeah, it was windy. I looked out of my balcony because we don't feel it right now. Uh -huh. But I was looking out my balcony this morning, and the flags were like, <laughs> you know, they weren't like like flapping. Or, <laughs> they were vibrating. It's gonna be challenging. It's gonna be nuts. Scuba diving. <laughs> We're gonna swim a lot. I'm glad that we did that dive the other day because that was a good dive. You know, yes. at least at least we're gonna be happy. <laughs> I don't know about the live stream, but we had a good time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I basically have to remember everything that I said a few days ago, and uh, and say it again today because <laughs> the microphone was so bad. I, I had it on my computer last night and I was editing it and I was like, maybe, just maybe, the audio is muffled but you could still, it's still watchable, you know, or not watchable, but listen, 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 listenable, listen, listenable, but no, it was, it was all bad. I, I, you guys have seen it already, so I, I'm very curious, because I haven't edited that day yet, I'm just starting it, so I'm curious to see how I'm going to put that together. I think it's just going to be sort of like musical montages, so and maybe me overlaying some audio or whatnot, and maybe I just talk about what what they're doing with the coral, which would be cool. But today will be a much better episode. Should be a much better episode, but the problem is that today the weather is is worse. So uh, our time here in Sanya is sort of wrapping up a little bit, right? We're getting towards the end. Yeah, today is scuba diving. Tomorrow we'll be surfing, yeah. and then we we'll leave on the 12th. And then, and then, are we going to stay together, or are we going to split up and be on different teams? Are you my, are you my, are you my buddy for this whole thing? Just today. Just today. Just today. Oh, <laughs> then I'm on my own. <laughs> no, like today, I still be, I will be buddy today. Tomorrow surfing. Yeah. Um, I will be with Omar. Okay. The twelfth when we go to Nanning. We'll go to Nanning all together. But yeah. then I think you Matt has the job to do a live stream in the oyster farm. Okay. He's You're not going to the oyster farm. No, I'm, okay. there's a huge gala, I'm going there. <clears throat> okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. And then what? And then after Nanning in Guangxi, we go to this place called Yangjiang in Guangdong. In Guangdong. So this place it's very like it's the southeast a city in Guangdong. Okay. And they have this huge museum that's showing all this. The ship. Rain. The ship. Yes. Okay. Okay. You know okay. I know. Good, well, good. I've been to Nanao Island, so I, I saw where the because sh the ships sunk outside of Nanao Island, mm -hmm. and then the fishermen were scavenging, and then the police came in and <laughs> found <laughs> it. That's yeah, an interesting story. But it's raining today. You think it's going to be a fun day? It's going to be an exhausting day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. diving twice, right? Yeah. The wind is pretty strong, strong waves yeah, as well. Yeah, so it's yeah. very hard like to do the scuba diving with strong waves. But you know what? You just promised me you can carry me in the ocean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I'll tie a rope around my waist with a little little handle on it. <laughs> and I'll swim. <laughs> I was just floating in the ocean yeah. with my martini. Yeah, martini. She's just gonna be like <laughs> There's a bunch of people here frustrated about the rain. 
I actually kind of think it's cool. They washed off the boat for us. Everything's now a little slippery, yeah, but also really clean. Uh, I'm less worried about the rain and more worried about the wind. The wind that can be a can be a real problem <laughs> on a boat. These these guys are out there every single day cleaning up that seaweed. It's just every day a new beach full of seaweed. I bet if they let it go for more than a couple of days, you'd have like stacks and stacks and mountains of seaweed. I see cameras, I see cameras. <laughs> I need to look at every camera. Every, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jing Jing's got like camera radar. She knows, she's like, her ears perk up. Camera, camera. camera. What angle, what angle? Good side, good side. Omar was asking me because I lived on a yacht, you know, before. What is this? Is this different than than the yachting that you've done in the, in the in the in the states? Oh my God, so much so. Hi. <laughs> like for example, the way that they dock the boat here, man, it is. They they don't mess around. I mean, they they're they're punching it. They're using the engines and the and the torque to like just bully the boat into place. And obviously we do the same thing. We use the engines to kind of torque the boat into place. But it just seems like here in China, or at least these guys, they, they really, really, I mean, uh, one of these things one day, gonna pop off. The other thing are the fenders and just, 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 just the, the, the care that the crew takes towards these boats. In, in, in a lot of cases, when, uh, when I was on, on my yacht, uh, you know, the fenders were like, they were like, you had to take care of everything. You had to take care of the fenders, everything had to be nice, but these are like, these are like EVA foam cushions that they're just, they're just brutalizing them. Just brutalizing them. We even had rope management, like these ropes here. Like, we had to make sure that if there was any extra rope, that it was pretty. You know, it was, uh, it was wound and coiled in such a way that it looked nice. Here it's just, Granted, different sorts of boating experiences. This is a ferry and not a not a pleasure cruiser or a yacht. This is a scuba diving, you know, platform, basically a, a ferry. Oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. Get out some towels. Oh, you got doused. Yeah, yeah, these cameras are, especially Sony's, they're weatherproof. It's just the Ronin. I don't know if it's, it's good to have water in, in there. These are really fancy hotels over here. And the one that looks like an arrowhead right there, that's Atlantis. And me and uh, the family went out there a while back. And uh, I'll link to the video, it's pretty cool. So I used to live on a yacht um, that, that traveled from uh, Detroit, Michigan all the way uh, up the St. Lawrence, out through the Erie Canal across New York. Ooh, here's a big one. It's a big one. Up, uh, up into the ocean, all the way down to Fort Lauderdale. And I remember uh, we were in the middle of the ocean once and the captain was driving the boat and we were in a big storm. I think maybe we were in the Bahamas at this time. And man, oh man, the waves were, the waves were, throwing us around like a rag doll. And uh, the captain said to me, he says, Matt, I want you to make me a garlic pizza. So I went down into the galley. Uh, the, the kitchen on a boat is called a galley. And I went to the galley and all of the dishes, everything is tied down, but it's still clink, 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 clink. It was making such a racket. And, uh, I was doing okay, I got the dough, and I'm like holding on to things, and I'm with one hand I'm, I'm making the pizza, and uh, I rolled the dough, I got the pizza sauce, and then I'm trying to chop the garlic into slices to put on the pizza before I put it in the oven, and uh, I just couldn't chop, 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 I couldn't chop, because the boat was moving too much, it was, it was too violent, and... <laughs> So I'm like, screw it. So I took the garlic in my hand because it was like soft, soft pre-cooked garlic. 
and I squeezed it into a paste and I spread the paste on the pizza and uh, big mistake because at that time we had been in the ocean for a number of days I had gotten my uh, my sea legs you know pretty pretty well and uh, <laughs> the the uh, the garlic though seeped into my skin you can't get rid of garlic fresh garlic and the the, the stench of, of garlic just I couldn't get away from it and it was just oh I went back up I, I put the pizza in the oven cooking for like 15 minutes or whatever and the smell of garlic just in my skin just wafting around and then the rocking and rolling and the other the other thing is like when it's rocking and rolling like this the best thing that you can do is get yourself out into the open you can, when you can see the waves coming your brain can kind of process it a little bit easier and you don't get so seasick but in the galley I was so focused on making that pizza combine that with the sound of everything sloshing around combine that with the the stench of fresh garlic all over my body oh I I, I got I got pretty sick <laughs> I didn't get seasick very often on that boat, but that was one of those days I was like, I, I think I turned green and then purple and then blue. Yeah, I fed the fish that day. I fed the fish. I think uh, once we get to the island, the island should shelter us a little bit from this heavy stuff. And luckily, actually, it looks like the waves are coming this way. Uh, you can kind of tell from the from the sea that the, the swells are coming this way and we're on this side of the island so the island should protect us from the from the big from the big kahunas I remember I did a I did a, a live aboard scuba trip and uh, I did it for a week on the Adam and Islands great video I actually have that video I've never published it you guys might enjoy it and uh, I remember I was standing on the back deck as the, the ship was underway and out of nowhere a flying fish jumps out of the water and hits me <laughs> like 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 torpedoed me and it, it hit me so hard that it that it landed on the deck and the thing was stunned dead just killed itself it ran right into me ran right into the boat and it killed itself if you've never seen a flying fish before you want to think of an alien creature. I mean, combining a fish and a bird together, that's wild. And really, the wings on those things are amazing. I'll see if I can dig up that video. I'll see if maybe someday I can publish that video. I've got, I got so many interesting experiences you guys have never seen before. And, and you know what else? I have so many experiences that you guys will never see because when I was younger, living on that yacht, man, it was so interesting, that life. And, uh... That was before I was doing any of these vlogs, long before that. That was when I was a, that was when I was a young fella. Alright guys, we got 30 minutes to go. I've donned my wetsuit. They're doing some shots uh, out there. Yes, so ready. Half an hour. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. I want to be there, baby. Dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can't do better. You can't do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. I dare you to be wild. All right, we just finished. We're out of the water. That went pretty well. It's pretty good. It's that was awesome. good. That was good. I was like, oh, my hair just. <laughs> You were underwater a few minutes ago. Yeah, that was really good. We actually did the rehearsal one a few days ago. 
And you know, these doing these rehearsals and doing something more than once really, really is helpful to like iron out some problems. We were on the bottom and they were actually hammering in the pieces of coral and I had to figure out how to anchor myself so that I could do that a little bit better this time. And so I did that. And so th this one was a much, much better, um, better dive. So basically they're taking Acropora, which is a type of coral, and they're taking it from the scaffolding where the coral was like seated. And then they're breaking chunks off that are about the size of, about the size of my finger. And they're breaking them off pretty haphazardly. I, I would be very curious to see how that coral does in a year or two, you know? It would be very interesting. Anyways, they take these, uh, they're like drywall plugs, you know? They drill a hole, they, they jam a plastic drywall plug in, then they hammer in the stake, and then they zip tie it to the stake. You do, you do that enough times, and you spread that coral out, and you have each little piece of coral now growing its own collection, and you can really um, accelerate the growth of the reef, you know? Because otherwise, you just have one section that's growing, and that, that might grow very big, but it's in one spot. But if you spread it around, you can have that large coral reef growing all over the place. Omar's gonna go and do the Chinese section now. But you don't even have to worry about it. You're not speaking Chinese. You're just gonna be under there. Yeah, it's gonna be, uh, I'm excited for this one, the real show. We've been yeah. rehearsing, what, this is the third time I'm going, or fourth, third day, but fourth time. You're uh, gonna be surprised, the water's pretty clear. That's what everyone yeah, keeps telling me. I, I was, was watching you guys. Oh, you did? We, we have the. How did it look? Fantastic. Did it look good? I didn't, you said you took your mask off and you did a bit of a wave. We saw you waving, but at that point you didn't have your mask off. Oh, okay. I, I don't know who, if they cut to it or no, not. it's okay, it's okay. You, you guys know. were down there for what, how long? 35, 40 minutes? It went quick. Whatever yeah, it was. Yeah, that was quick. Yeah, yeah, that was quicker. The tank's down there too. We've swam around the tank. Oh, nice! nice. I, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Yeah. <laughs> I knew mean, you guys gotta get some. They have a uh, Chinese military tank down there. I'm not supposed to tell you. <laughs> Fun. Good stuff. Alright, I'm gonna switch out of these clubs, clothes, clothes, and then uh, and I'll catch you a little later. You guys do realize paradise is outside. <laughs> You're all. <laughs> I already did. You want to go? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, or maybe, shall we? Shall I stay with my energy for the next? Oh, you're going to go in again. Yeah, yeah. You relax. You relax. Ah. For a second, I thought that said Jayo Life. That's my Twitter handle, Jayo Life. Jangyo Life. Okay, we've finished. The boat's gonna come and take us away. I gotta get my wetsuit and make sure that that's all set. But it was fun, it was good stuff. Hey, ha. Hello. Enjoy. And hello, everybody. So, we are doing a little vlog in the vlog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Headed back to the port and the end of the day. Been fun, been fun. Sure. Hi. Buddy. I'm talking to you from a little surfing village called Hohai. Coconut truck takes, takes precedent. Uh, today's episode is just sort of going to be a walk and talk. You need to learn how to swim, damn it! Hi, Hi. YouTuber. Hi. Yeah. Hey, YouTuber. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I saw your channel. Yeah, Jayo. Jayo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jayo. Ah, yeah. Are you Jayo Nation? Jayo Nation. Yeah. 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 <laughs>